Hi, my name is Ethan Safi, and I'm a career mentor at Experience Hub. And today I'll be talking with you on how you can make your resume stand out. So to start things off, here are a few reminders just to consider when crafting your resume. The first of which being is your font style. Um, and the goal here is to make sure it's easy to read. And we suggest you use fonts like Georgia, Times Roman, Calibri, or Helvetica. The next thing to consider is the size of your font. Um, and this is just again to make sure it's readable. Um, and for here, we recommend you stay between sizes of 10 and 12. Um, and the last thing to consider is the design of your resume. Overall, you want to keep things pretty minimal um, and just make sure that each section is easy to distinguish. Now that we've gone over a few reminders, here's how you can make your resume stand out. And the main way you can do so is by starting with the job description that you're applying to and looking for those keywords and qualifications that, that the company is looking for. Once you know what these are, you can go to your resume and begin to tailor your resume by including these in your experiences and highlighting these skills and qualifications. Um, and more so, the way you can do this is by writing strong accomplishment or skill phrases that describe your previous experiences with the keywords that match what they're looking for. One of the questions you might be asking yourself right now is how do I describe my experiences? And the next slide will go into more detail on how to do this. Um, but just as an overlying idea, you want to think of things like critical thinking, multitasking, communication, organiz organizational, and so forth. So diving deeper into creating skill phrases, the method that we use is called the WHO method. This is broken down into what, how, and outcome. So starting off with the what, what did you do, um, and what was your daily duties and job tasks? And a good thing to think about when doing this is action verbs that describe the certain things you did. Once you have an idea of what you've done, then you shift over to the how. So here you think about certain skills, strategies, competencies, um, anything along those lines that kind of ties into the what part, what you've done. And the last part is the outcome. Um, and this kind of focuses on the impact or the overall end goal of your duties and what you've done. So kind of applying this method to an actual example, this example came from a teacher assistant. So going with that theme, think of what you did. You assisted students. How did you do that? By using tutor skills. And what was the, what was the outcome of doing these? Um, academic improvement and service enjoyment. So when you put that together, you could have something like this. Assist the students by using positive reinforcement techniques to encourage and help build more confidence in students and their test taking strategies. One of the main reasons for tailoring your resume to certain jobs is because of applicant tracking systems. In short, there are certain systems that are put into job applications that filter out job applicants when they don't match certain description words, skills, or qualifications. So to kind of make sure that you'll be considered for every job that you apply for, you want to make sure you carefully tailor your resume every single time. Um, and you're going to be doing this by matching keywords to the job description as well as qualifications that they're looking for. Um, and other ways that you'll want to include this is by using long form and acronym version of keywords. Um, one example could be search engine optimization, and then you'd also want to use SEO. Um, and just one more thing to consider as well is that you use standard resume section headings like relevant experience and education. So here are some key additional tips um, to consider when applying to certain jobs and crafting your resume. The first of which is to make sure you do thorough research on the company or organization that you're applying to. Um, make sure you learn about their mission, products or services, culture and values. Um, obviously you'll be tying this into your resume, but this is also going forward into interviews. Um, another thing to consider is if you include an objective or summary statement at the top of your resume, make sure that you match the key qualifications that they're looking for. Um, this is kind of help with kind of pushing your resume through um, and there's the last thing to consider is ONET. Um, this is a great resource for crafting bullet points, especially if you're not sure what to write. Um, definitely going here is a great way to start with bullet points. Here's some of the final steps we consider you taking after watching this video. The first of which is to look at our Canvas module, um, look at other videos we have related to resumes, handouts, sample resumes. Um, you can also find certain templates you can use to start creating a draft of your resume. And once you've done that, we encourage you to set up a meeting with the Hub Ambassador um, to have your resume reviewed just before you start applying the jobs.
Thanks for your time.